There's a lot of pride on the line between these two athletes tonight. Two of the proudest athletes we have ever seen in WWE. Harsh impact. You know, guys, it's not uncommon for superstars to practice a little hyperbole when it comes to nicknames. For example, King Kong Bundy isn't really a walking condominium, but when it comes to Braun Strowman, there is no more fitting moniker than the monster among men. So it's kind of like when they call you JR Jr., right? I've never heard that one. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Braun Strowman truly is a monster among men, as Byron pointed out. Even on the rare occasion he's outsized, I'd say it's Strowman's physical ferocity that makes him truly unstoppable. I couldn't agree more, Cole. Just go back and look at what Strowman was able to do against the taller Big Show. I mean, at one point, Strowman threw Show right through a steel cage. Nailed it. His shoulders are down, and he doesn't stay down for long. Nice kick out there. The steel cage is a massive enclosure that stands 15 feet. Look out, look out. This could be it. He looks to be losing a bit of leverage here. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Back suplex. Oh, no. Face first. Gets out of the way of that one. To your point earlier, Byron, we've definitely seen some unbelievable attacks be launched from the top of the steel cage. And you mentioned the most iconic, the steel cage match for the Intercontinental Championship that saw Jimmy Superfly Snuka clash against bitter rival, the magnificent Morocco. There's no denying that Superfly set the bar. You'll... Looking to lock it in here. There's no way he's giving up now. his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. We talk about how important stipulations are in a steel cage match. If superstars sign a contract where the only way to win is escape the cage and have both your feet touch the floor, the competitors must have a plan. Especially since you have to be comfortable trying to escape through the cage door as you do climbing over the top of the cage and vice versa. Corey, you touched on something moments ago that's so important for the combatants in a steel cage match to remember. A superstar must be able to... Strowman. This is not going to be good at all. Oh, my gosh. From what heights? Victory is on the horizon. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Whoa, Strowman dodged that one. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Overhand right lands. Vicious strike. Oh, no. Leaving himself open here. Yeah, guys, I can't think of a worse place for him to be right now. Oh, hellacious power slam. Here's his moment, Michael. And he got a near fall out of it. How'd he do that? The rivalry between Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude began during the Super Pose Down at the 1989 Royal Rumble. Then it progressed to where both superstars battled over the Intercontinental Championship. At SummerSlam 90, the rivals met inside a 15-foot-high steel cage for the WWE Championship. Victory could be achieved by pinfall or escape from the cage. 
Look at this. Corey, the WWE Championship match between the Ultimate Warrior and Ravishing Rick Rude was the second half of the double main event at 1990 SummerSlam. The rivalry between the Warrior and the Ravishing One was so heated that no one knew what to expect once the two men were able to battle inside a steel cage, which at the time was the most grueling match in all of WWE. The Ultimate Warrior dominated early on with his incredible strength. Rick Rude turned the tables and used the steel surroundings to his advantage. At one point, oh, look at the squeeze, it's on like a vice grip. Oh, that just looks nasty. There it is, it's locked in. Smart maneuver. To think, I almost rode him off earlier. What a stomp, good grief. At what point do those thoughts creep in of, what do I have to do to put this match to rest? I don't know. I don't know as a WWE superstar if you ever have those thoughts of self-doubt. Strowman is taking no prisoners right here. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. The monster among men picks his opponent up. Oh, Braun Strowman slamming into the mat. That's what he was looking for, Michael. That is exactly what Braun Strowman needed. Here he goes. Choke slam. But I don't know how much gas he has. We got to cover. Two gets the shoulder up. Yeah, he's not done yet. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Boom, what impact! This could be huge. Huge toss! Not sure how much more Strowman can take! There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Oh my, he's making a statement here with this attack. He's looking at it. Lee, this is his opportunity to win. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. He's lining him up. A second time. Beautiful technique. That might just... This could do it! Two! Three! This... Show.